Hi guys, welcome back for more on um, our life beginnings and always um, I'm wondering if we can change my surname. Look at that. It's Vincent last Damn, how to change that? Is there an option to change that? Config? Oh, no, this is the system settings Oh my god, we can probably change that but it sounds fire anyway well, you know what? Let's leave it at that. Let's just let it go. Let's let's make it last. I don't know what to make a surname either. I want. Well, I don't know what to change it into either. So mm -hmm, that's a quick recap. So last time there was a long ass um tutorial. Um, we also got to customize our own um character and. It was trashy. Our character looks looked crap, and also we saw um, Gove's dad. Um, yeah, he's, we saw him. Um, you know, sitting in the front of our house. I think he was crestfallen there, sulking there in front of our gates, and then apparently Cove, his son, is missing. And yet he's not doing anything. He he just he's just sulking there. What the hell? What a good father. And <clears throat> he wants to pay us, you know, he wants to pay us um money just to, you know, be friends with Cove. It's, it's like he's bribing us to get to be friends with Cove. And uh, we don't need it. We don't need money to be friends with Cove since we're gonna do that anyway and we don't want it to do that. We don't need money, though I need money in real life, but we don't need money in the game, so... Yeah, let's continue this, and we saw Cove in the heels, at the heels. He's crying, guys, he's crying, I don't know what, why he's crying, probably because he's lost, or he's just being a drama queen, whatever. He's crying, and he's cured. Let's continue. Why'd your family move? Why are you here? Mm, what do you family move? Did we know that already that his family moved? Probably his dad said. Probably his dad said it. Hmm. But I don't want to ask him that. Let's choose why are you here? A quiet hiccup skipped Cove as soon as you asked the question. Oh, Almost like they'd never stopped. His tears started up again with a vengeance. Damn, look at his crying face. I want to make him cry more. <laughs> I want to see him wailing, you know. Like, cry. I remember um, using Natsumi's voice. Oh god damn, my headphones. Natsumi's voice. My parents. They don't want to live together with me anymore. Um, what do you mean? The tears fell fast and heavy over his flushed cheeks, sticking in his dark lashes. Probably that's why his dad is not even making effort to look for him. <laughs> Probably is why he, we, we just saw his dad sitting in front of our gates with his son get lost and he's not doing anything. My mom, my mom made my dad leave and he took me with him and now we have a house here and I want to go home. The outburst took you off guard. By the time he was done wailing, Cove's chest was heaving with exhaustion. He sniffled and removed his glasses. Oh, let us see. Let us see his face with his glass removed, wiping at his eyes with the back of his hand before he put them back on again. Oh, he put the, he put them back on. I hate this place. I want my real life back. I want my mom. I'm sorry. Your dad seems kind of nice. You like it here. You just have to get used to it. Stop crying, you stupid brat. You like it here. Oh my god, I don't know what to choose. Your dad seems kind of nice, which is I don't know why. His dad seems kind of nice. Yeah, kinda. I'm sorry. Okay, you just have to get used to it. Hmm. 
Hmm. Probably I'm sorry. You like it here, you just have to get used to it. Um, this too. I like this too. Hmm. Hmm. How about here? I like it here. He slipped his hands underneath his glasses and pressed his fingers against his eyelids. Cove wound himself up again for another long crying fit. Sunset Bird was Sunset Bird was a nice place to live. It had a beach, playgrounds, a good school, at least you thought so. But from but from way off in the distance, you heard your parents. Vincent Cove? Kids, where did you go? Cove looked at you, tears still clinging to his cheeks. Don't tell them we don't tell them we're here. I don't wanna go home. I don't wanna to I don't want to go back to that house. I wanna go home. But that will be your new home now, Kova. Stop being a brat. <laughs> but he's just a child, guys. You can handle it, you have to go. No so much, sorry, I have to. You'll be okay. Hmm. Hmm. It will be okay, I want this one. You were struck by a sudden need to reassure Cove. Island Cove. Oh, we're talking. It it's gonna all be fun, but isn't he your family too? Yeah, I guess. Then you can count on him when you really, really need him. You shot him a grin and pushed yourself to your feet. Slowly, Cove stood up with you, still looking a little reluctant. His dad's voice rang out again. Um, how to do Cove's dad voice? Hmm. 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 Let's use heroes. Heroes. Cove, can you hear me? He looked toward the sound of his dad's voice, silent, then turned away while rubbing his not bandaged arm. I still don't want to go. Go down yourself. You waited silently with him. You tried to convince him. Hmm. Hmm. You need to grow up. Uh, are you sure? You'd have to stay outside the whole night and sleep on wet grass. Before Cove could say anything else, you heard his dad's voice again, even closer than before. There you are, bud. The trio of parents appeared over the curve of the hill. Instantly, all their eyes landed on you, and they rushed over. Who are these two? Both of your moms were at your side in a split second, faces filled with worry. Hmm, who is Cove's mom and who is our mom? Vincent, you're here after all. We had been at the park to check for Ko, and then heard what happened early when you met the new neighbor. I thought you might have gone off further away. No, we were just sitting in the grass. Why is everybody acting like this is such a big thing? We're okay, don't worry. Ko didn't want to go home just yet. Hmm. Hmm. We're okay, don't worry. Thank God you're both fine. Who is our mom? Were you too happy? Were you too having fun out there? You looked over at Ko, who was wiggling against his dad's tight hug and pushing at his arms. The shrug. Yes, I like him. Ow! Um, mom. Hmm. He's good. I think I'm gonna marry him. God damn! What the fuck? <laughs> <gasps> what the hell? What the? What the hell is wrong with this choice? This fortune, I like it. Yeah, they like him, and mm, he's good. I think I'm gonna marry him. God damn, I, I want this. I'm sorry, but I want this. You nodded, smiling slightly. Say it, say it, Vincent. Huh? That's wonderful. He did not say it. We did not say it. Finally, letting go of the screaming, scowling son, goes dad turned to the three of you. 
Thanks very much for finding him. I really don't know this neighborhood. Good thing Vincent knows this whole area so well. Absolutely. We should be getting home now. It's been a long day for us all. Say goodbye, Cove. Bye. That's cute. That bye is so cute. Oh my god, can we replay that? Oh no, we can't. We can't. We freaking can't. Damn. The two of them walked off in the darkness, heading toward the neighborhood. We watched Ghost's broad pink cast until it disappeared. Tell you what, we'll have a proper play date tomorrow, okay? Your new friend's dad wanted to bring him by to see you and Lizzie. How does that sound? Oh my god, there are two female. I'm gonna do the same voices. Sure, can I show you my stuff? It sounds like words. You nodded, talking your head down. Sure, can I show you my stuff? Of course. Then okay. Both of your moms laughed, the sounds overlapping into a warm, familiar chorus. Mommy put her arm around your shoulder and led you towards the path. Did she just... No! What is this? Ner nervous indifference. What is this? What is this? Um. Um. I don't know what's going on. What the hell? Oh, we can adjust. We can adjust. Um. This is our direct indifference. Um, I don't know what's going on. Nervous indifference, and here, this is cool. Nervous funness. Nervous crush. What? Is, why is this locked? I want to marry him already. <laughs> okay, nervous crush. This. What the hell is this? Uh, can we combine this thing? Oh, relax garage. Let's max out this one. Direct crush. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Let's do this. I'm so sorry, but I want to, you know, get on Cove's pants real quick. <laughs> That's disgusting. I'm so disgusting. Hmm, we can step on a direct crush. Why not? Why not? You'll be able to change the genital step to Okay. The next morning, you finished your breakfast so fast that you nearly puked it back again. Back up again. Your sister Lizzie had run out early to go play, but you'd stayed put. Today, just like your moms had promised, Cove was coming over to hang out. Cove! Exile. Excited to see your new friend again, Vincent? I can wait to see him. <clears throat> if you were going to get married, it made sense to be around each other. Ah! Ah! ah. How sweet. Isn't it? Oh, did we just said? Did, did we? Did we said it also? I thought it was just a narrate an um a narration. Isn't it just the sweetest thing? They just accepted it. I bet the two of them are going to be great playmates. Hmm. Okay. With that said, are you done with your breakfast? Yeah, haha. Uh -huh. I don't know, am I? Your bowl was entirely empty, so you nodded. These are basically the same, yeah, and your bowl was entirely empty, so you nodded. Hmm. Yeah. No. Both of them are not good. Guess what? Hmm. Good job. He should be here soon. Calling up began and then on cue, there was a knock. It was hesitant, like the person wasn't sure they were in the right place. Still loud though. We need to get a more obvious doorbell. 
I know, I know. Vincent, can you, could you get it? You practically leaped out of your chair on the way to the door. Hey, last family. <laughs> Thanks for having us. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I don't know how to change this anymore. It, if it could be changed during the game. Uh. Mr. Holden, as your moms have called him, and his son were here. Cove looked different in the bright light of your living room and when he wasn't crying with his dad standing in front of him and mom and mommy behind you you this mom and mommy they need to change you and Cove looked at each other pleased to see the interesting new boy again you smiled at Cove Ow! he smiled at us guys he smiled at us Cove returned it shyly mom we're going to go play in my room you guess blinked but didn't protest. No, we liked it. Okay. Take care. Let us know if you need anything, you two. Have fun, kids. See you, See you later, son. Play nice. You led him to your room, buffing out your chest a little bit at the side of your treasures. What do you mean treasures? Where are our treasures? There were lots of stuffed animals. A cool bed, a window to look at, mm, stuffed animals, I can only see two, There's, that's not a lot. Probably they're inside the cabinets, I don't know. It was a great room, you hadn't had anyone to show it to in a while, but you were really proud of it. He leaned in a little closer to one of your drawings on the wall. I like this, thanks! Me too, I do that, thank you. I don't. What the hell is wrong with I don't? I do that. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You smiled at him. You were proud of that particular piece of art, and you were glad he noticed it. You turned to look around the room a little more, studying the books on your desk and the pictures on the walls. You started to feel a bit nervous. You felt the atmosphere was kind of awkward. You were glad for the company. You hope you liked your room. I hope you liked your room. You had put a lot of effort into making your room as nice as it was. You hope he didn't say anything bad about it. Then his eyes landed on the tiny box of bitch things you'd collected, tucked away by your door. He took a step towards it before hesitating and pointing at it instead. What's that? A hoard of stuff I found on the beach. Oh. Do you have any driftwood in there? Dragging the box into the middle of the room, you and go flop down next to it. I do. Look. You gathered to a piece at the bottom, still covered with specks of sand. Neat. It's a good collection. You got the sense from the tone of his voice that he wasn't just saying it to be nice or to be like Shiloh. He actually meant it. Um, what is Shiloh? I forgot about- I forgot about Shiloh. Shiloh? Yeah, go. We don't know as well. He's friends with my older sister, and he's supposed to hang out here this afternoon. Mm. Do I have to see him? You don't have to do anything, but he's going to be here. Anyway, I found this gigantic shell here stuck to an even bigger rock. We pulled out seashell after seashell, explaining where you'd gone in each one and holding up against the light. There were big ones, small ones, pink, purple, and orange. Most of them you washed off in the bathroom sink when you brought them home, cleaning up the sand. Over the past few years, you'd even learned some of their scientific names. Wow, are we, are we that, you know, bright? The collection was so huge and varied that you had lots of fun stories to tell for all of them, your voice faltered a little bit, but you kept going as best you could. Um, what's it? Apparently fascinated, either by the stories or by the shells themselves, Cove listened with what looked like the full force of his attention. Ah, uh, like when you almost got pinched by a hermit crab while searching for shells, and after watching him scuttle back into the ocean, you found another empty shell that was almost a twin to his home. It was a new experience to be the center of such dedicated focus. For some reason, 
It was making your cheeks feel warm. You had never felt like this around someone before. It was kind of weird. Kids, come down to the living room. You could tell the idea was making him unhappy. Ah, but mommy was giving you much of a chance to hang around. Cove hadn't been like this meeting you. You guess it was because he thinks you found each other by accident, not that a parent made it happen. Mr. Holden must be right that telling Cove is part. Mr. Holden must be right that telling Cove his dad was part of that would be. A mm hmm. I'm confused. Mr. Holden must be right that telling Cove his dad was okay. Mr. Holden must be right that telling Cove his dad was part of that would be a bad idea. Before you knew it, you'd both you you'd both been escor escorted downstairs and deposited in the living room, re ready for Shiloh's visit. The two of you sat by sat side by side on the floor of your home's entryway. I brought the box of shells. I wanna keep looking at them. Great. Okay, but be careful. You should have asked. Great. Bust it open. We can keep looking while we wait for Shiloh. Cove reached in and pulled out a big orange shell. Oh. Like he hadn't spoken aloud yet, he turned to you and held it up, his eyes shining. I think this one is the best of them. That's my favorite too. I like a different one best. I can show it to you. You can take it. Ah, you can take it. Cove looked at you in surprise, his eyes going wide. Really? Sure, you like it a lot, right? Uh-huh, but I don't want to take it from you. It's okay. You got the impression he was hesitant to accept something because he didn't know you very well. Mm, you insisted, let go. Mm -hmm. Insisted. No, it's okay for you. He pushed the shell against Cove's chest, willing him to receive the present. But Cove firmly shook his head and kept his arms tightly at his sides. It was a battle you couldn't win, at least not today. I hope you're not gonna refuse my ring when we, um, you know, get to the right age. Cove was your neighbor now, maybe you could give it to him another time. The two of you were still sitting on the floor looking through your collection of rich findings when the doorbell finally rang. Cove jumped, startled by the sound. Since the person had knocked, you figured it was probably Shiloh. He knew where to look for that. Lizzie's friend? You nodded, but that didn't seem to make Cove feel better. It was already obvious that Cove didn't hide his feelings well. You could tell what he was thinking right away. This isn't a good idea. Is this Shiloh? And where would you even go? Is it at our only door and if you go upstairs, he'll find you. Cove glanced around the room, his eyes wide, and finally paused with his keys locked onto the back of the house. I can go out the window. No, please don't leave. Let's hang around more. He was already walking towards it. Scrambling to think of something to say, he stepped forward, then paused. Do you want to break your other arm? <coughs> Kilo is the least scared person alive. Cheer up, Kilo's gonna like you. Please don't get hurt, I'll come with you. Good idea. I don't want to choose. Please don't get hurt. Cheer up, Kilo's gonna like you. I'll come with you. Good idea, let's go. I don't know what to choose, what the fuck? She's the least scared person alive. I don't know. I'll come with you. But if you choose these three, um, I'm, it's too... I want them with Shiloh though. Hmm. Hmm. You know what, let's do Shiloh. Hurry. They'll see where we're going. He glanced back at you. Then nodded. The two of you made your way to the window together. It wasn't much of a distance to clamber out, but by the time it landed gently in the bushes, you looked up to see that Cole was already taking off away from the house. 
He was fast, but you knew you could outrun him if you had to. He was not that fast. You knew you could outrun him if you had to. He was not that fast, but neither were you. At that speed, you weren't sure if you could go fast enough to re enough to reach him. Mm, okay, let's choose one. Cove, you ran as fast as your legs would take you, grass whipping around your ankles as you did so. Cautiously, Cove slowed to a halt and looked back at you. Where are you going? I don't know. Somewhere else. I just don't want to see. Oh. So we're gonna meet Chilo. We're gonna meet. We're gonna still meet Chilo, even though we ran away. Um. Vincent. Hmm. Okay, I don't know how to voice him. You looked back and saw Shiloh huffing down the hill after you, the backpack he clutched bouncing all around along the way. What are you doing? Can I come? He must have been he must have seen you leaving out the window and followed behind. Hi. Oh uh, Oh hi Shiloh. <gasps> I just did the Yuichi's voice and look at him. It doesn't fit. Oh, hi! Are you Kova? Yeah. I'm Shilo. Okay. Yep, are we going back or are we gonna play outside? You're supposed to play with Lazy. Scram. Shilo's eyes move between you and Kova. A smile remains strong on his face. You got a tiny frown from Kova in response. You were just grateful you hadn't asked why you had been running away. Inside, we left the box on the floor. My stuff, we need to get it before someone steps on it. Okay. With Shilo trailing behind, you and Kobe headed back toward the house. The plan for the afternoon, at least as far as you were concerned, was to sit and look at the beach thing some more. You weren't really in the mood to do much of anything else, especially if Cove was having fun. This is a scallop shell I found last week. I kept it because it looks neat. It's a pretty color, kinda like my cast. The beautiful glittering pink did look a little bit like the wrap around his arm. Pink is a nice color. Okay. Oh? Is it your favorite? Not really. <laughs> Cove is really cool. Kobe's <clears throat> not having it now. Huh? He doesn't like Shiloh. What is? Maybe green. Or blue. Maybe green. Or blue. It might be yellow. Oh, those are all cool. I guess. I like those colors too. They're a better color. Not sure how to deal with the sound of awkward sounds. You look back. Mm -hmm. I like those colors too. Awesome. Both of them smiled. Like usual, it didn't take long for Shiloh to get fidgety. Lizzie was his favorite. Without her around, Shiloh didn't seem to know what to do with himself. Then find Lizzie and leave us alone. And Ku wasn't like her sister, he wasn't that much like you either. Is Lizzie coming back? Don't know. Where did you go? I think she's at the beach, probably. You should go there and, you know, leave, uh, leave, leave us so we could have, you know, alone time together with Kova. Is she playing at her park? Kova's eyes lit up at the mention of the park, and he looked towards you. Uh. There's a park? Yep, but it's old. Can you show me? I wanna go. He started getting up before you had even answered, and Shilo jumped up beside him in excitement. Well, really? You do too, right, Vincent? The park is fun! Now, the park is pretty great. I love it. Mm, video now. 29 minutes. I love it. Yeah. It's right at the beach, so there's lots of fun stuff to do, and lots of sand. Of course it's the beach. It is a jungle gym and a bunch of swings. That sounds like it could be cool. So, are we going to find Lazy? I don't know. 
I never really wanted to see her. I just want to check the park out. A drift without any direction. Shiloh finally turned to you. Cove is really cold. Okay. He perked up. Both boys wanted to go. It was only fair. After getting permission from your moms, the three of you were ready to head out. It was a short walk to the park. Lazy had convinced your moms that it was so short, she should always be allowed to walk there by herself. Okay, I think I'm gonna end the episode right now. Mm. That was a good episode. That was a nice experience, you know? And I can see, I can feel that um, Cove is mm, opening up to us a little, I think. That's not just me, um, you know, assuming things, but I feel I do really hope that he is opening up. You know, he's kind of like, um, you know, closed. He's kind of like withdrawn, very withdrawn. Uh, you know, he doesn't really talk that much. He doesn't want, um, like, he's shy, you know. He's not that, um, what do you call this? Um, he doesn't like to interact with, um, people so much. Damn, we're so alike. I'm not a party people. If there's a party, I'll be just sit there in the corner and uh, you know have my own world. And yeah, I think that's all for this episode. So next episode we're gonna see um, Lizzie. Is it her older sister or younger sister? I don't know. And uh, mommy and mom is very confusing. They should have you know um, Vincent's mom, my mom, or my mom. And um, Cove's mom, you know, and I thought, wait, 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 what? Wait, wait, wait. I'm um, Cove said that um, his dad, his parents got separated, and dad took him in, took him away. So why are there two moms? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh my god. Do we have two moms? Are our parents lesbian? I don't know. I don't know. I don't freaking know. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, anyway, I think we're gonna find out this later on, so... Bye guys, thank you for being with me in this epi ep episode. Thanks for being with me in this episode. Um, I love you always. Bye bye.